guys and welcome or welcome back. I am going to be starting a new series right now on my channel. I'm so excited. This is going to be called Chaos to Calm. Basically, it is my decluttering series, something that I have been looking forward to doing on my channel for a very long time. We are currently in limbo. We're in an apartment while we're waiting for our home to be built. So we have some of our things in storage, but I figured let's go forward with this anyway. I wanna give you all the motivation and all the ideas and tips to help you get started. Sometimes that's the hardest part is just knowing where to begin and getting just that first step made and then everything kind of goes from there and you really do get the ball rolling. That's why I'm here. I'm here to give you some motivation, ideas, tips, and just to help you through this process so it's not quite so overwhelming because I think we all feel like if we could just minimize a little bit more, get things a little bit more in order, our lives wouldn't seem quite as chaotic. They feel a little bit more peaceful and calm. So chaos to calm, that's our new series. You're gonna see a new decluttering video here on this channel every single week. I will be putting the videos in this series up on Friday, but since I'm kickstarting it, I wanted to give you two videos, a bonus for this week. So we're actually gonna start in the kitchen, but we're not gonna do the entire kitchen. We're just gonna break this down. I'm gonna make this as simple and painless as possible. We're actually just gonna start with the kitchen cabinets. We're gonna do upper and lower. And then as we go through, I'll kind of give you some tips on how to declutter things, what you might wanna hang on to and then what to do with everything that you've decided you probably don't need anymore. I am so excited to go through the apartment because it's definitely feeling a little chaotic in here, especially with three kids. We've got too much stuff, so I can't wait to get started. I'm happy you're here to join me. Let's do it. My first tip is to start with a clean surface just so that you can actually use the space to work. I do have dirty dishes in the dishwasher, but I'm gonna ignore those for now. As a general rule of thumb, I like to have two dishware items per member of the family. So we're a family of five. So that would be have 10 plates, 10 cups, 10 bowls, 10 spoons. You get the idea, but in the move, I kind of lost track of everything. We've accumulated a few things since then. So I wanna make sure that I'm kind of right at that sweet spot. I actually forgot to grab a box, which is where I'm gonna be putting everything that I'm taking out of this kitchen. And I'm actually not gonna donate it right away. I'm just gonna put it in a quarantine just to make sure that I don't need it. Because if I get rid of something and have to go buy it again right away, I'm gonna be really sad. So let's go grab a box. Let's just start counting. I just picked up these bowls and I'm gonna have to look in my dishes too because, or in my dishwasher, because I know I've got some things in there. But I grabbed these bowls recently at Target. They're really pretty. I do recommend having really streamlined dishes. A neutral color is great because they won't go out of style. You won't find yourself wanting probably to replace them after a few years. And they can be dressed up or down or accessorized for any holiday or occasion. So I knew I wanted white. We used to have blue, but I switched over to white. So here I have five, and then I'm gonna have to check in my dishwasher and see how many I've got in there. All right, so that's five, six, seven, eight, and then I see one more down here, so we have nine. All right, so I've got nine of these bowls, and I actually just realized something, and that is that my toddler doesn't use them at all, so I've gotta really think like we've got four people using these dishes, so I really only need eight, so I'm gonna go ahead and put one of them into quarantine, which is perfect since if I chip one, um, I know I've got one spare. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this one out. So let's say we need eight glasses for our family because again, Lila, my toddler, really uses a lot of plastic. So let's just count <laughs> again in the dishwasher because I've got, I've got a few things up here, but not too many. I'm gonna count what I have up here first and then um, we can get into the dishwasher again. I know really quickly, just looking at these, I don't need both of these. These are actually really cool if you're putting them in a pantry. These have so many different uses. They're really large. I think these came from Target, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill my dishwasher pods up with this one, and then I'm gonna put the other one in the box because 
I'm not using them. <laughs> so I'm gonna quarantine one. I've got two of these glasses that I know we're not using because they were on the top shelf. Plus, I think I only have two and they don't match anything else. So quarantine. Okay, I've got a few candles. Let's move on to mugs. I don't think we need more than four. Cody and I really are the only ones that use these. I think I've got a couple in the dishwasher. Once I run that and unload and see, I can know what to put into quarantine. And I even think it might be fun to switch a couple things out. So like in the winter, I might trade this Hello Fall mug out for something else, but I really enjoy using it right now. The only drinking glass I see up here is this one. And then this one is kind of large for drinking. I again, use it for storage, but I think I'm gonna quarantine it because I don't drink out of it. I'm not using it for storage. So let's go ahead and put it in the box and then I'll count this as one. So we need seven more glasses. Let's see what we've got in the dishwasher. So it looks like I do need one glass. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of this quarantine box and then I can work on getting matching ones later, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. So now I know I have eight glasses, eight bowls, and we can move on. This next cupboard is a little bit of a mess. This is where I keep all of my baking things, but we have this WD-40 in here. That seems awfully random. <laughs> I'm gonna take that out. And then I'm just gonna start checking expiration dates on this stuff. I've probably got multiples. Oh, stuck to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, like look, I've got two light corn syrups. Treats, these are Cody's treats. Oh my goodness, see how random this is? Let's go ahead and just move this around, get it a little bit more organized and declutter things that we're not using and are expired. Another tip I have is to divide decluttering projects into smaller chunks. So I'm not gonna take everything out of the cupboards, of all the cupboards and set them on the counter. I'm gonna do one cupboard at a time. That way I don't make too big of a mess and I don't get overwhelmed as easily. So I really suggest just taking this one cupboard at a time. I'm starting with the upper cabinets and I'm just kind of checking for expiration dates and items that maybe we haven't used, making lists of things that I need to replace. I just arranged these really in order of size, but then I also really wanted to put the things that I use most often up front. So I use this canola oil all the time. I noticed that I'm out of vanilla extract. So I'm going to add that to my grocery list really quickly. And I am getting low on baking soda. So this is a great time to take a quick inventory. That first shelf is looking a lot better. Here's what I pulled off of the first and second shelf. This is almost gone, this coconut oil. So I think I'm going to put it in my bathroom because I can use this to remove makeup. I can also use it as a hair conditioner. So I'll finish that off. And then this one, we just don't use. Um, a box, you can take things out of the boxes. That really helps. This salt's almost gone. Here's the new one. So I'm gonna put this one in front. I realize that Cody needs a really specific designated spot for his snacks that can be contained a little bit better because these are just falling down when I open the cupboard. So I'm gonna go rummage around the house and see if I can find a little basket to put his treats. I wasn't able to find a bin right away. So I ended up just storing those treats of Cody's in a Ziploc bag. So that's another tip. If you don't have a bin just right there handy, just store something in a bag just so that it's contained and the mess won't keep spilling over and you can keep looking around your house to see if you have a bin that you're not using and then if the project's all done and you realize you do need a little bin or something, that is a good time to go out and buy one. But this cupboard is looking so much better. Let's move on to these lower cabinets here. I know that I do not use that funnel ever, ever, ever. I even remember keeping it and thinking, oh my goodness, this could be so handy. I haven't used it. And then I realized that I never packed when we moved the bottom section of this little um, set. So it's got a ceramic bottom and I better hang on to that because it's got to be in storage somewhere and I know I want it. But let's grab this for sure. I only have a few pieces of Tupperware that I do use. They're glass and they have nice lids and I love them. I've got my mixer, my cheese grater. I've got one um, 
the cake pan that I use for everything. I got a saute pan. Then the bottom, the ceramic bottom, that was a two piece set is in the dishwasher. So I know I've got that. And then I have one pitcher. I have one colander, one pie dish, and then I have plates here. Let's see it, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think I've got about eight of these. There should be a few in the dishwasher. I will check really quickly, but I've got the number of these that I want. Because if we have company, I actually want to be able to pull these out. So if I have a few extra, that's okay. I'm actually really happy with this down here. I really like to transfer my dishwasher pods into jars. I think we might actually be able to fit all of these in here. That is perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in quarantine because I'm not using it after all. In this cupboard, I actually have cookbooks, spices. On that middle shelf, I have vitamins and medicine. And then in that gray basket, I have party supplies. And then I also have some essential oils. It's been fun to be in this smaller apartment and get creative with where I store things, but let me know what you have stored in your kitchen cupboards. What I did here is just put the larger spice containers in the back and then the smaller ones in the front, just so I can see. And then I did notice that I was running low on a couple things, so I went ahead and added them to my list. I will organize them in the new house, but for now this is working fine. And then I just went over here to my cookbooks and notice this insane pile of recipes that I got from like HelloFresh that I thought were amazing and I've never made them. So I'm actually gonna quarantine these recipes because they're making a mess. I'm not using them, but if I'm feeling like in a couple months um, that I still haven't used them, I'll go ahead and toss them, but I'm glad that I reminded myself that they're here because they're actually really, really, really good. I just haven't been using them. I'm quickly just gonna see if there's anything expired up here. Going through the kids' medicine, I had actually replaced a couple of our staples like children's Tylenol recently, but I did end up finding a ton of these little medicine syringes. And with a bunch of them, the pieces didn't fit together. So what I did was I ended up just keeping two of the medicine syringes that had all the correct pieces and then I had a bunch of the medicine cups too, and I only kept two of those as well. Okay, this has my party supply stuff in it, along with a bag of really hardened marshmallows. <laughs> so gross. Chip clip, let's pull that out. Oh, that's really cute. I could have used that on the 4th of July. Totally missed that. I'm gonna put that in quarantine. That's what was in there. I'm glad you found the chip clip and I'm super excited that we can throw these away. All right, so after looking through my vitamins and medicine, I really do wanna contain things better and I realize that the vitamins and the medicine are all mixed up together. So I need to figure out how I'm gonna organize them. And if you guys have any suggestions, will you let me know? Cause I do like having a designated shelf for vitamins and medicine. So I would like to keep them together, but I just need a better system. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that when I do some more organizing. But I feel pretty good about what we got rid of. Oh, I'll just show you. I made a little corner right here for dishwasher stuff. There's our rinse aid. I also have a little dish disposal cleaner that I really like. And then those are our dishwasher pods. So because our dishwasher is right next to this sink, that's just a nice place to have them. So that's how I have decluttered there. And then I will show you what I have in my very, very last cupboard. So this is my last cabinet besides under the sink, which is going to be a separate video altogether. But this has just my baking dishes and I, I'm going to go through and see if there's anything in here that I haven't really used. I know I've got like my drying rack, a cutting board, my muffin tin. I use all of that, but I'm going to see what we've got in here. It's kind of like a black hole and <laughs> things kind of just get sucked in. So I'm, I'm excited to get in here and see if there's anything we can purge. 
I had two cutting boards down there, this smaller wooden one and this big plastic one. And I've really been reaching for the plastic one so much more often. So I'm gonna pull this out and stick it in the box. I also have two cookie sheets in here. I think I'm gonna pull one of them out. Here is everything that we're gonna put in quarantine. Of course, this lighter fluid, I'm gonna find a safe place for. But everything else, I'm gonna set aside. Oh, WD-40, we are gonna need that. But everything else I'm gonna set aside. This is stuff that I'm just not using um, that I don't think I want anymore. Again, I'll see what I think about the recipes. Here is my little cookie tray that I pulled out and then again this cutting board. This all might be donated here in just a month or two. So I'll just hang on to it for a little bit and then see where we are if I've missed any of it. A quick tip while you're decluttering or setting aside time to declutter, just give yourself a few extra minutes to put everything away, get the garbage put away, um, relocate items if you need to, and then I will show you where I'm keeping my quarantine items. <laughs> it's kind of a funny place. So we have a back deck area. So I'm just gonna put everything, I found a larger box too. I'm just gonna keep everything in here that I'm thinking about. This is covered so I know everything is safe and shouldn't get ruined. But this is where my little quarantine spot is. Okay, but it's really good to have just a designated quarantine or DI pile just all the time that you can just be continually adding to. So for now, because we're in our apartment, this is the best place for it. Again, we will be going through all of the kitchen drawers and underneath the sink in a separate video. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any episodes in this decluttering series and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.